David Beckham and Johnny Wilkinson teaching each other how to cook, how to kick. Um, what was so great about that particular campaign was that once you saw it, it was all so obvious, but it was such a tremendous surprise to see them put together in that way, so it really made an impression on me. Well, that's an easy one for me because it, it changed my life and I think it's going to change a lot of other people's lives. It was uh, on the 6th of July 2005 in Singapore when, uh, when London won the right, right to stage the, uh, the Olympic Games and Paralympic Games in 2012. I mean, you know, that, there's, that was epoch changing uh, in my view and, uh, you know, we're only beginning to see, I think, just the impact that's going to have on, uh, on this city. I mean, I was lucky enough to be in Beijing for the, uh, the Olympic Games in 2008 and to watch uh, Usain Bolt in both the 100 metres and the 200 metre finals. I mean, it was just like watching almost a different, um, uh, you know, an athlete operating on a different level against, um, you know, the rest of the world's best. It was quite an extraordinary uh, thing to see and sort of will be forever. Probably in the last decade, you know, if you look across all the sports, you, look, you try and find someone who's been absolutely at the top of their game, uh, someone who's really made an impact on the game, somebody who just acts in a sort of timeless and um, gracious way. I think it's hard to be Roger Federer, who, you know, it seems to me has just operated on a different plane for some of the time in his own sport, despite the incredible competition there, but also when you compare him to the, you know, the people at the top echelons of other sports.